YouTube, what is y'all doing? Alright, first off, I want to thank everybody for tuning in into today's video. Today we are going to be talking about my 2016 Lexus GSF. I picked this thing up in my last video. That was like two weeks ago. I'm sorry I'm behind on recording per usual. But this is it. This is my 2016 Lexus GSL painted in caviar black. As you can see, we did go ahead and get the red leather interior. But I kind of just wanted to talk to y'all about this car today. Just the truth about it, what I got going on with it. So moving on into the interior of the vehicle to just kind of cut out some of the noise. Y'all know my neighborhood is super loud. So I picked this car up like two weeks ago, primarily for my birthday. So your boy is now 30, reached the big 3-0. So I guess I'm officially old now. Uh, I don't feel any different than I was when I was 29. But anyway, that was ultimately my reason for picking this car up, other than me really wanting it. I think that's the catalyst for me actually uh, making the move and, and purchasing one uh, when this one popped up. Uh, I did get it at a price that I, I kind of wanted. Now, this one in particular has about 80,000 miles on it. That's a little bit more than I wanted to get one with. But after just doing some research on this one, what they were asking for, what I was getting. So I bought this car through CarMax, and I'm going to talk about that whole experience in another video. Um, but I bought this car through CarMax, and I was able to actually get this one and get an extended warranty with it um, for the next 70,000 miles. So if my math is correct, this car is covered on a warranty for the next four years or 70,000 miles. So 150,000 miles, if I even hit 150,000 miles in the next four years, I highly doubt I will. So that was um, one of the reasons that actually made me make a move on this one is because, I mean, 80,000 miles is not a lot of miles, especially for a Lexus, but with these cars being super rare, you got to think about like um, things going wrong. Um, luckily, this, this thing does share a lot of components with the GS350 uh, of this year. So, I mean, you, there's that. I mean, there's only like a few differences and things like that, but the engine itself is like a completely different motor. So, I don't know, warranty just sounded good for a high priced vehicle like this. So I was like, okay. So as you would expect, a car that's now uh, seven years old with 80,000 miles on it, it's not gonna be completely perfect. And this one is not, it does have some issues. I don't wanna go deep into because some of the issues that I, I wanna go into I'm thinking CarMax is going to address those for me. Um, I have an appointment with them in a couple of weeks, and we'll see how that goes. That's why I'm kind of waiting until um, I get some of these issues addressed before I start like talking about my CarMax experience um, buying this vehicle. I will say that one of the cool things about buying from CarMax is they got this, um, I guess they call it a one-month test drive. So basically, if you buy a car from them, you get 1500 miles or a month to like enjoy the car and whichever comes first and um they'll just buy it back from you if you decide you don't want the car so i'm still in my test drive phase i think i put like 400 miles on this car in the last couple of weeks the majority of those miles were me driving to nashville driving back from nashville picking up this car um, and I drove back to Nashville one other time, but that's, that's pretty much been the bulk. I haven't really driven this car out that much. Um, and the, the one month test drive period, I think that's great. Uh, panning around to the interior. Now I have had this car for about a couple of weeks, but I have encountered some things that I, I, I just, I don't like about the car. And, um, one of those is the good thing is that I think a lot of these things can be addressed. Um, and they're not, it's not a lot. So one of the things is if I turn this car on, just put it in auxiliary mode. This thing right here, it's just not the best to use. I mean, yeah, it works, but it's kind of dated and I really don't like this thing that much. It's kind of hard to target like different things on the screen. I don't know. I, I really don't know what Lexus was thinking about. I know it's, it's kind of flickering on you guys' end. But, yeah, that's... I don't know why they did that. So, I, I, there's a, in, um, a way you can upgrade this, um, like, with a Grom, or I think Beat Sonic makes something, to, like, modernize this. Sorry. So, that's, that's one of the 
first mods I'm going to be doing. I know y'all just saw me do my first mod, which was installing a um, KNN air filter on the car. Now, I know a lot of people don't like running KNN air filters or whatever. Um, for whatever reason, I like putting them on my car. I feel like it saves you more money in the long run. Um, than buying like the paper filters or whatever but you have to keep them cleaned and oiled which I have a kit to clean and oil mine I always every oil change I'm like I clean my um, air filters out let them dry do what I need to do and put them back in there and I've never had an issue with the K&N air filter um, but also too if you're running those I will say make sure you clean your map sensor because I feel like putting that oil on there might make the car act a little funny if you're not cleaning the map sensors as well as um, changing that uh, or cleaning the filter. So that's just something to keep in mind if you are uh, running the K&N. As far as the channel is concerned, I don't have any plans on selling one of my cars as of yet. Um, I wouldn't even know which one to, to begin selling because I feel like I like all of my cars like each and I, I mean I only have three but I mean that's I guess that's still a lot because some people don't even have one so I'm blessed uh, I'll admit that um, but I don't have any plans on selling um, any of my cars I know a lot of you have started taking a like into the GS 400 videos I know I got some guys in here that like the IS content and now I'm about to be making GSF content I know there aren't a lot of channels on here that um, have a lot of GSF content I'm hoping like I can be one of those channels that does um, and, and kind of get a following going here with the GSF. I understand that they're a little bit more of a rare car, so a lot of people might not be able to have it. But the, the thing is, like I said, the GS350, the GS200T, all of this stuff, those are it's pretty much the same platform, just a different uh, powertrain. Um, obviously, this car would be fully loaded. I guess because it, it comes with pretty much everything, the Mark Levinson and all of that stuff. But a lot of the things that I'm probably going to do to this car is something that you could do also to those cars as well. Um, minus, you know, the sound enhancement and some of the performance stuff. Speaking of performance stuff, the first thing I plan on do to this car, I guess, like drivetrain motor wise, I'm thinking about getting some cat bags. I'm truly thinking about doing that. It's not that the car is not loud enough. But I feel like I could get more tone out of the car. Like, I don't know. I feel like I'm going to do some catbacks at some point. I already got my eyes on some. Definitely going to wrap this car. Y'all already know I, I'm planning on wrapping this car. It's black. Um, Y'all know black is super hard to keep clean. I will say that the black on this car, for the most part, is clean. But we both, we all know how, that, how long that lasts. So, I do have some colors in mind. I don't know what approach I'm going to take to like revealing what color I select when that day comes. Right now, I'm just trying to enjoy the car, make sure like I'm actually going to keep it um, before the um, one month, the one month test drive thing expires. Um, I don't have, I guess, any reason not to keep it. Uh, like I said, there are some issues that I'm working with CarMax to get resolved. They're not issues to the point where it's like, Oh my god, I don't think I want the car. But it, there are issues to the point where it probably get annoying. And it, it was it's stuff that would have to be addressed. So we'll we'll see. We'll see how that goes. As for what's coming next, um I do feel like it's time to show y'all some more IS content. I don't think I've shown y'all anything else about that car since I did what I did to that car at the beginning of the year as far as the face lift lift and everything. So it's definitely time for an update on that car. So I'm gonna have to get that out and do something to it. I got some things in mind that I still want to do to that car. When I first put that video up there of me facelifting that car, I told y'all that I didn't think it was done. Like there's still more things that I want to do to it. And there is, I just kind of got distracted with this car because I really wanted the GSF. I don't know, like I got I had to have one of these. Like this red interior just, I don't know. How do you, how do you say no to a GSF? Anyway, this wasn't meant to be a super long video. I just kind of wanted to give y'all an update because I know I, I like, I should have done this a long time ago. Um, but yeah, this is this is supposed to be a short video, so I appreciate y'all for watching. I'm not going to ask y'all to, to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. If you feel the need to, please go ahead. I mean, but that's up to you. Don't feel compelled to. Um, this is a safe, safe space. 
I know y'all, a lot of like YouTube viewers and watchers or whatever, y'all get handled a lot by um, content creators saying, subscribe, subscribe, and I, I just, I've gotten to a point where I don't want to do that. I don't want to be another channel just begging people to subscribe, like, comment, um, unless they want to. I, I want everything to be, I guess, genuine and not, you know, somebody like, you feel like somebody's kind of harassing you. So with that being said, that's going to end this video officially. I appreciate y'all for watching, and I'm going to be back in it with another video.